hope Andrew doesn't kill me, but based on yesterday's Pilates with Ting, I realized how I completely don't have my core anymore and uh, I really do need to take it slow. So I think today we're going to be doing a lot more like restoration kind of work and just kind of rebuilding that core again because um, I believe having a good pelvic floor, a strong core is definitely the first step to being able to do anything else. I feel like I am starting to gain a bit of control back into my life uh, but unfortunately that means that I have kind of sacrifice a bit of time that I would usually put to work which is making me feel a bit guilty but I guess work can live. are shaking. You really go back to square one all over again. It's a very humbling experience because I used to be able to lift so much heavier and it makes me feel like I just threw four years of lifting weights at the gym like away in just two months. I'm thankful for my body. I'm thankful that it helped me grow a human. It birthed a healthy baby boy and yeah I should give it time. <laughs> Y'all, I know I'm gonna be aching so badly tomorrow. <sighs> but anyway, I realize I always get this question because I wear makeup to the gym and I always get asked like, wouldn't it clog your pores? So my answer is always, it's not that it will clog my pores. Okay, it's, it's not that I need to wear makeup to the gym. It's just that I usually am uh, rushing from another place to the gym and therefore I don't have time to remove it. To that question, I've been wearing makeup at the gym for many, many, many years and I haven't really faced any issues with clogged pores, um, at least with wearing makeup to the gym. I think that's also because like, I make sure I remove it thoroughly. So um, today I'm going to show you guys how I remove it. The new Benefit Professional Get Unblock Pore Clearing Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. This really helps to remove your makeup. It's very effective at just removing it. So even if you have many layers of foundation, it's gonna remove it very thoroughly and it doesn't strip off the moisture. Of course, you wanna double cleanse, like I always say. You wanna go in with a cleanser after this. It's not really the perspiration that clogs the pores, uh, but rather if you have makeup remnants on your face, whether or not you hit the gym, it is still gonna clog your pores, so makeup removing is definitely one of the main steps. Then rinse. Then double cleanse with a cleanser. This is the good cleanup. By the way, the entire range actually is uh, the packaging is very interesting. It's made up of like these kind of recycled aluminium material, so it's very friendly. It's sustainable as well, and I usually foam it up as dense as possible. That way you get the product deep into the pores. And I like to just go in circular motion on areas that are more prone to clog pores. The pore fashional range is really surprisingly not drying at all for my dry skin. So every once a week, I like to go in with this. It's called the Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. This one actually uses kaolin clay, so it helps to kind of extract the excess sebum from your pores. And it also uses sea fennel extract. So those of you with oily skin, you will benefit from this ingredient because it helps to minimize excess surface skin oil. I'm using this spatula. Like the other side, there's a spatula. I'm just going to use this as scoop. So if you have dry skin like me, then you can just either do it in like areas that you need. So areas that are more prone to uh, clog pores or more prone to excess sebum and oil, which is usually around my nose and my T-zone area. I find that leaving it on for about 15 minutes, uh, it's pretty good already. 
The thinner you apply, the faster it dries. Alright, I waited for 15 minutes and you can see most of my pores are concentrated here. So I'm gonna wash it off. I just wanna say it's so easy to wash off. Like, just look at how water is able to just remove it. My skin is still nice and soft. Mm, it's really nice and clear now. I really, really give it a deep, deep cleanse. Who cool, I recommend these two products to definitely people with clogged pores. If you don't have time to go for a facial or if you often like face blackheads or whiteheads, um, you know, coming back really, really quickly, then I would recommend going in with this like at least once a week. If you have dry skin, this one you can use it every single day, no issue. This one, I would say do it a maximum of once a week and just concentrate it on areas where you really need. Don't apply it on your entire face. You can even put it on your neck as well. So if you want to like exfoliate your neck, then you can put it here. Okay, I'm going to go in with toner real quick. And this toner is very interesting because it comes out in a foam. I was like, why is it... Why is this toner like with this kind of nozzle? Because this kind of nozzle is clearly like a foam kind of nozzle. Benefit really wants to make it more sustainable. So they don't want to encourage the use of using like cotton pads. And it's super smart because the only way that toner doesn't kind of like drip all over is if it is in a form where you can just apply it on your face like properly. So this is great. I'm gonna apply moisturizer and I will go to bed. So see you tomorrow. My skin is pretty clear today. It's got a nice glow too. So I think maybe I don't even need to wear foundation. Today we are heading out to um, a food tasting. I'm bringing my in-laws and Matt and I think I'm gonna bring Michael as well. Let's try and get ready. you guys tell I have no foundation on? I think I can just go out like this next time. Mm. Yeah, I'll zoom in for y'all. Okay, you can still see all of my blemishes, but I kind of like that, like my dark spots, but they still look really bright. Excursion time. Sleeps very, very soundly in this fascinating. And it's actually very pretty, very well cushioned as well. Anyway, uh, it's time to get unready. Same thing with the Get Unblocked Cleansing Oil. Honestly, I didn't expect myself to like this cleansing oil this much because I am a big fan of cleansing oils and it's very hard to kind of make it onto my list. But this is really quite good. Like, I don't know how to put it, but if you've used cleansing oils before, they can be quite greasy because i mean yes after all they are oils but this one is just the right amount of grease it has a very soothing fruity scent and it really gets rid of your makeup so take a bit of water and you want to emulsify it and it just turns into this like milky texture which further works the product into the skin and gets rid of everything it just smells so good It's just my eye area. This super cute uh, silicone face brush. So I'm just gonna use it. This is the Good Cleanup. It's a pore purifying foaming cleanser. This one has lemon extract to help pores look smaller. Even though it says it foams up, it's not like extremely, extremely thick. And I like that because I find that when it foams up too much, it's very drying on the skin. and bright. This is no filter. You guys are coming way up close and very 
very personal into my pores but they look good good morning so today it's a special day because i'm going for an event with micah and matt i have been loving this toner a lot it gives you really really nice smoothened skin I use it about three to four times a week. You can use it every single day. But for me, because it contains a bit of acids, AHA and PHA, so it helps to unclog your pores, regenerate your skin um, by chemically exfoliating it. And because it's PHA, it's very, very gentle. What I find is that every time I use this, coupled with a matte mask, either this one or the other one, I get really nice smooth skin and my makeup actually adheres better the next day. So I kind of do this routine whenever I need to look good and be up close and not have any dry patches or like flaking going on. We're going to be under the hot sun because we're going to be planting a tree for mica. Um, I'm not going to apply that much skincare. So this is the smooth sip. You can see very gel like. Because if you're going with way too many like greasy products, your skin, no matter how dry, will also not be able to grip onto makeup that well. So I'm just going to keep my layers light. It's really more like a watery gel, even lighter than most gel textures. Look at that. And you can really feel the squalene because it kind of forms like a film. I'm going to apply it on like drier areas again. So this is my second layer. Okay, I'm going to apply sunscreen and come back. Because I need to make my makeup last very very long, I'm going to go in with a primer. So the professional primer from Benefit is definitely one of the OGs OGs and for good reason. I like it that they came up with this one, which is the one I'm using. It's the professional light. It's a lot more suitable for daily use and for those of you who like the professional, the original one, but want a lighter version. This one is definitely it. So I just apply a tiny bit around my pores. So it's got like a, a bit of like a silicone finish. I like to just go in, in circular motions to ensure that every single pore is filled and it just adds extra grip. Instantly, it is so smooth. I'll show you on the back camera. professional super setter it's a makeup setting spray and it's super fine but it doesn't mess with your makeup it's just like a spray a thin layer and it really just locks everything in place i've even done a spin class with this before and i've tested it and it works can't see my outfit one more try a very silver thing Sorry, Son Seng Nim, if you're watching this, we have thrown all of our hunger water. <laughs> 
Por eso. <laughs> it's another no foundation day and I thought I would end this vlog just by sharing with you guys some of my favorite Benefit pore professional products. Benefit has always been just studying pores and just studying how to make pores look good, look flawless, look small. So first things first, the brand actually color coded all of their products into three easy um, categories for you guys to choose from. So if you have clogged pores, so you're prone to like whiteheads, blackheads, this purple color range is definitely one for you. And honestly, this is my favorite product. Favorite, 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 hands down in the entire pore fashion range. I use a lot of cleansing oils and um, this one is one of my top favorites now. I highly recommend this. You've got a clay mask. This one has cowling clay inside. Um, so it really helps to deep cleanse the pores and unclog all of the pores. This one. Of course, we've got people that want to make their pores appear smaller. And that way is to make sure you're cleansing out your pores properly and thoroughly. And because if you have things clogged or accumulated in your pores, they will over time look like blackheads and it just makes your pores look bigger and larger. So the trick is to make sure that you cleanse them up thoroughly. This is the Speedy Smooth Quick Smoothing Pore Mask. This one is a lot faster, so you only leave it on for three to five minutes. The other one is 30 minutes. So this one is more of like a, you can use it like a couple of times a week. And then Smooth Sip Gel Moisturizer. I'm quite shocked at this. This one, is one of the lightest, like most lightweight ones that I've ever tried. And if clock pores is something that you are very mindful about, then you can go and try this. It gives you 12 hours hydration and niacinamide is the main ingredient, which we all know is a great ingredient. And this one is actually a little tool, which surprisingly was so handy. When I first saw this, I was like, mm, is it going to replace my sonic cleansing device? I would say no, I don't use this to cleanse if I can be very very honest with you guys but what I love is this spatula part because the shape is quite ergonomic, it scoops really well and it has a very nice flat surface for you to just kind of go around your entire face. And lastly, we've got the yellow range. Um, this one is actually good for your everyday daily maintenance. And I gotta say, this range is my favorite because I use it the most. If I have to choose my top three products, it would be these three. First, we have the Good Cleanup Pore Purifying Foaming Cleanser. This one actually really nice, nicely lathers up into a nice foam. It's not too overly drying. Most of the time, if you want to purify your pores, you always have to compromise on the hydration part of it. But this one is actually pretty good. Next up, we've got the Tight and Tone. This is an AHA PHA toner. Like I mentioned, it's very innovative. It comes in a foaming bottle like this. This is a toner so your skin really drinks it all up because you can feel a little bit like a cooling sensation. This, I would highly recommend it to people with oily sensitive skin because if you have oily skin, you're very prone to clog pores but at the same time, if you are sensitive, then there are a lot of pore products in the market that you cannot use because it's too harsh. This one is PHA. PHA is a gentler form of chemical exfoliant so it helps to chemically exfoliate your face every single day, very gently. I've been using this with no issues at all. So these three are my top favorite products. If you ask me, number four is this lah. But nobody asked, so yeah. Yes, I'm gonna leave all the things in the description box below.